So have you investigated the very fastest method for cooking popcorn? I've tried about 40 different methods. I think I've got it pretty quick. Okay, in this box purports to be the very fastest ever method for cooking popcorn. Check this out. Reveal it. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I heard of these things, but I didn't think they really existed. It's essentially a pressure vessel that really is meant to just pop popcorn. It's made in China, and after carefully translating the instructions, it's decided that discretion is the better part of deliciousness. This is supposedly the fastest popcorn cooker in the West. Either that or it's a bomb. The instructions, which we translated from the Mandarin, call for two to three whopping cups of popcorn. We're going with the maximum. On Adam's say-so, I'll light the flame, and when this reaches one megapascal, which is one on the dial, at which point the water inside the popcorn should have vaporized and the starch uh, liquefied, but it will uh, not pop until we relieve the pressure. At that point, Jamie will turn off the flame, I will place this whole thing upright, pop that lever, which either will make us all dead or give us all some popcorn to enjoy. Cooking in a bomb suit only on this show. If we just find pieces, can I have your watch? Absolutely. It's not the simplest way to make popcorn. Jamie lights the gas, and Adam rotates the pressure vessel like a cast iron pig on a spit. Hence, the bomb suit. Alton's method took one minute, 45 seconds. About three and a half minutes in, and I haven't seen the pressure rise at all yet. We need the pressure for this to work. But the pressure does slowly build in more ways than one. This actually makes me kind of nervous. It reminds me of water heaters about to explode. I remember that. We are at about seven minutes when it's only supposed to run from three to five. But the pressure's coming up consistently now. I never thought that four or five minutes from cold made any sense. There's just too much mass there. Yeah. Finally, they get to the point where a sudden release should pop the corn. It's not something you do with a flick of a switch. Are you ready? Yeah. Put the lever in there, or you just want to hit that? I'm just going to hit that. Go for it. Three, two, one. If there's ever been a time to say, don't try this at home, it's now. <laughs> Yay! Notice that the, the way that it exploded creates a shape that's more like puffed rice than it actually is popcorn because of the speed of the, uh, of the kind of plasma form of the starch oh. bursting out. I think that if we uh, took the pressure down or just didn't do it as long, it'd probably be really good. Now, you could still argue it's lightning quick as the corn actually pops in a fraction of a second as soon as the pressure's released. But if you're aiming to fix a quick snack inside the commercial break, Forget it. Well, at 9 minutes 31 seconds, I wouldn't call it speedy. That's a heck of a show. Totally. That is the most fun I have ever had making popcorn. And the most mess. Absolutely. of the place to be seen. Sometimes in the street you'll hear bong bi pang, bong bi pang. Yeah. And that's a guy that's saying, bring your rice. And that means we're going to make some rice popcorn. So there's a machine that specifically makes rice popcorn. And rice corn. Corn rice. Rice pop, pop rice. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ready? Ready? <laughs> <laughs> that's okay, so funny. Yeah, so on these streets, you have these guys that make this, uh, they'll say, bong mi pong, bong mi pong, and everybody knows, like, all the kids will bring out their rice, okay. some sugar, whatever flavor you want, and they'll give it to the guy, and he sticks it in the machine, and then you get your popped rice. Hey, you got that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bong mi pong. Bong mi pong. Bong mi pong. All of it? All of it. Okay. So, so the kids bring the rice out yeah. to the man with this. Uh -huh. They bring rice, and then, hey, you the you see your jar, you see Ah, okay, so, so inside you just put the rice, and then you add the flavoring later. It's got a 
temperature gauge and everything. Yep, that's pressure gauge. Oh, pressure. Yeah. Okay, here we go. The anticipation and pressure is building up. All right, come with all Okay, I'm ready. Now, you have to say, Bebonga, Bebonga. The implements were very heavy duty, which meant there was going to be a big bang, and dummy me didn't even think of it, and it scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> it was such a shock. We try and deep fry the rice, so the extreme heat will make it pop, but it doesn't do what it does there. There, what, what we had today was like the rice was actually turned inside out and inverted and light and fluffy, just like popcorn. <laughs>